Right, come on, handsome. Well done. Oh, I'm so happy right now. You are such a good boy. His canter is the stuff that dreams are made of, seriously. You float. You seriously float, mister. It's lovely. I'm gonna address the issue before somebody starts putting snotty comments in the comments section. Yes, I just rode a horse without wearing a helmet. No, I don't really care. It wasn't entirely intentional. Um, I just, I was in such a hurry to get on and ride that I kind of just forgot to put it on. I can sit, I mean, I got it out. It's over on top of the dog cage right now. I just forgot to put it on. So don't shout at me. Good boy, Baloo. Well hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, your poor nose. Poor baby. No, no more sweeties. Hang on, give me your ear. There we go, good boy. Oh, see, he's so impatient. <laughs> so those rub marks on his nose are from his fly mask. Um, Woody's got them as well. We had some different fly masks this year. Yeah. Woods just doesn't look quite so bad. Yours has healed over now, hasn't it? You had a small bald patch as well. What have you done to your face? I think they must have had a big scrap yesterday because Woody's got that on his face and Blue has got a big chunk of flesh missing off of one of his back legs. This doesn't seem to be bothering him in the slightest. I'm not worried about it. Um, the only thing I was really worried about was him getting flies in it because it was a bit like weepy. But I'm sure he'll be fine. All right, you two behave yourselves today, please. No more fighting. Well, moderate the fighting. I don't mind you having a little bit of bro time, but try not to take any more chunks out of each other, yeah? Yeah, there's blues. Oh, you can't see it very well now because I put some fly cream on it. I mean, there's not even any swelling around it. Not bothering you at all, is it, Bubba? No. You did that, didn't you? Naughty boy. Naughty boy? Yes, you are. No, that's an empty pig bucket. You're not having the pig bucket because you'll break it. Everything in. Probably noticed. I don't know how much of it's been captured in the background, but my fields are full of poo again. I haven't been keeping on top of my poo picking. Oh yeah, this happened yesterday as well. Always broke that yesterday. It's fine, they're just, they're just ripping down rails for me. It's fine, I think. Well, I've got a three day weekend coming up this weekend and I would very much like to get the rest of those rails off and get electric tape put up on them. You okay, Taz? Should we sit with you for a minute? Are you doing your shivery puppy act? Are you doing your shivery puppy act? Hello. So he's doing much better. Oh, you rattling on your cage door. Oh dear, you've buried your bone in there somewhere, haven't you? What have you done with it? What have you done with your big bone? Huh? What have you done with it? So he's doing lots better. Um, he's in a bigger crate now. He's doing lots of like walking on a lead. We've actually been letting him have very short periods of time loose in the house, but he's just such a terrier brain. Like as soon as you let him free, he's boing, 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 running around at hundred miles an hour, like just throwing himself all over the place. And we're like, no, don't. You have to be careful. I know you feel like you're healed. Do I need to put that bottom one on as well? Yes, I think I do. He's like, let me out. You stop doing the quivering puppy act. I don't buy it anymore. <laughs> Got completely distracted by dogs there, didn't I? And that's actually the first time I've ridden since the weekend. It is Thursday morning today. Um, I did manage to do a little bit of in-hand work with Woody yesterday. Um, I'll go ahead and put some little clips in of that for you while I'm waffling on at you. And yeah, that was really good. That was nice. He really enjoyed it. Um, he really, really just enjoys spending any time with people. So that was fun. I really want to be doing that. Like I said in one of my previous videos, ideally he needs to be doing stuff every day because obviously he is coming back off of, you know, like lameness rest. He hasn't been on box rest or anything like that. So it's not a massive, it's not as massive a thing as it could have been. Like if he was coming off box rest, obviously he'd have to be doing the hand walking like for five minutes a day and building up and all that kind of thing. But I don't feel like that's necessary because he has been turned out in the field and he's been growing it up with blue like you would not believe. So it's not like he's coming from nothing to coming back into work like he's got some fitness and he, but i do just want to bring him back in gently to hopefully avoid any more problems going forward i really want to be doing stuff with him every day like i want to do a combination of like in hand stuff a little bit of lunging long reining and some light riding for a couple of weeks but it's just so flipping difficult trying to find the time to fit it all in 
so flipping difficult. And it doesn't help when my body parts are like constantly giving me trouble and robbing me of my spare time. It's quite often like this week, as soon as I've like finished with work, I'm like, I'm done with the day. I need to be horizontal and I need to not move for the rest of the day. And that's kind of how my last few days have gone. Hence, I've not really done anything. And hence I have so much poo in my fields right now. It's not good. But fingers crossed that will be easing off over the next couple of days. And I'm really hoping it does because I realized yesterday that there is a show coming up this Sunday. Um, it's the Office Dyke like end of season show. And we really, really wanted to go to that because it's such a lovely event, the Office Dyke. So it's the Office Dyke Riding Club um, show. They do two or three a year. It's always a really nice event. Now in my head, sorry about the squeaky gate, so noisy. I have to make sure the pony stays in this yard today now because obviously the boys broke that fence and she got out with them yesterday and ate a lot of grass. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, ideally I really wanted to take one of the boys to do ridden showing at their end of season show this year. That was the plan. I actually yet to do any ridden showing this year because just life. Like, um, just stuff just keeps getting in the way. And so neither of them are really good enough. Well, Woody obviously is just coming back into work, so I wouldn't ask him to do ridden showing anyway. Plus I would be slightly ashamed of taking him out in public right now because he has got proper dad bod. <laughs> he looks so funny. Blue, on the other hand, I'm like, well, maybe we could pull off a ridden show, but I just don't think he's got the stamina. Um, so obviously I did a bit of schooling with him just now, which you guys have seen, and he's good. Like he is a really, like, he's got a lot of raw natural talent and ability. He's very well put together. He carries himself very nicely. Even though I'm sat out there like a sack of spuds, um, he still went really nicely. And I wasn't riding him that well, to be fair. Like I wasn't asking that much of him. I was kind of just seeing what he'd offer me really. And part of me is thinking, yeah, maybe I could do some ridden showing with him, but is it fair to ask him purely on the basis that he hasn't really got the stamina, like the schooling stamina to do the laps in the small space that he's gonna have to do for a ridden show? So I think I'd like to just stick with in-hand showing for this one. There are a couple more shows coming up later in the year that I really, really would like to try and get one ridden show in this year. Like, just one, just to say that I've actually done something other than in hand showing this year would be lovely. I mean, obviously we did one dressage test, so, you know, it's not been a total write off. Hey boys, you okay? Hello. Oh, Nelly's down there waiting to come in as well. Tess, come on. It's evening now. It's kind of tea time actually, and they're all following me looking hopeful. Just taking Tazzy for a little walk around the field. Oh, and he's doing like hundreds of peas and poo-poos. I don't know how he produces so much wee-wee. It's actually quite impressive. Hello, pretty boys. Hi. So I had a moment of, let's just do this today. I've gone ahead and I've booked the show. I actually had a slight change of heart as I was booking it. So I booked them in for two in-hand showing classes, which was really, I, I was only planning on doing the in-hand showing just because I didn't think it was going to be fair to ask him to do anything other than that, just because of like our fitness levels at the moment and how much work or lack of work I've been doing with him, I should say. Oh, Chaz, it's like you're swimming. <laughs> He's going to do the in-hand coloured and the in-hand cob. And just as I was about to go to the checkout and pay for that and book it all in, I noticed that they've got dressage. They're doing dressage this season as well. Come on, let's go around again. Come on, we'll do another lap. Come on, good boy. He's like, oh, this is hard work walking through this grass. Come on, it'll get you strong. So yeah, I booked him in to do a little dressage test as well, because I figured but he did really well um, at the last dressage we went to. Um, it's only going to be like a max of five minutes, really, when you do a dressage test. And I thought, you know, that, that is a reasonable thing to ask of him. Like, we can both handle that. So I booked him in for, it is a prelim test this time. It's prelim two, they're running. Um, the intro test they're doing was intro A. I was like, yeah, I don't want to do the same one again. So we're doing prelim two, which is a nice basic test. It's mostly trotting. There's a nice big walk break in the middle of it where you do like a half circle and then a free walk on a long rain and all that. And then there's a little bit of can to work to finish. And I thought, yeah, that's 
that seems like like an acceptable level of, of performance to ask Blue to do at the moment. I was just a bit concerned. Oh, there's a big thistle. Come on, you're doing really well. Good boy. Yeah, I was just a bit concerned about doing the ridden classes because you never really know what to expect from a ridden class. So it could be really quick and simple, like five minutes in out done, or you could end up in there for 15, 20 minutes. It depends on the judge and the size of the class. So I was like, let's just play it safe. We'll do in hand. I think somebody wants to go in. <laughs> so yeah, dressage and showing this weekend. Yeah.